Why nuclear plants are dangerous? Nuclear plants are considered potentially dangerous for several reasons. 1. Radioactive releases. Nuclear power plants use radioactive materials. And in the event of a malfunction or accident, there is a risk of the release of radioactive substances into the environment. These releases can have severe health and environmental consequences. 2. Meltdowns. The most catastrophic event in a nuclear power plant is a meltdown, where the reactor core overheats to the point where the fuel rods melt. This can lead to the release of large amounts of radioactive material, as seen in incidents like the Chernobyl disaster in 1986 and the Fukushima Daiichi disaster in 2011. 3. Nuclear accidents. Accidents, though rare, can have significant consequences. Human error, equipment failure, or natural disasters, earthquakes, floods. ETC, can trigger accidents that may result in the release of radioactive materials. 4. Long-lived radioactive waste. Nuclear power generates radioactive waste that remains hazardous for thousands of years. The long-term management and disposal of this waste pose challenges, as it requires secure storage and isolation to prevent contamination of the environment. 5. Nuclear proliferation. The use of nuclear technology for power generation raises concerns about the potential for nuclear proliferation. The same technology that produces nuclear energy can be used to develop nuclear weapons, and the spread of nuclear weapons is a global security risk. 6. High initial costs. Building nuclear power plants involves significant initial capital costs. The construction process is complex. And the time it takes to bring a nuclear plant online is usually longer than for other types of power plants. Delays in cost overruns are not uncommon. 7. Limited fuel supply. Nuclear power relies on uranium or plutonium as fuel, and these resources are finite. While there are ongoing efforts to develop new technologies like breeder reactors and explore alternative fuel sources, concerns about the sustainability of nuclear power persist. 8. Public perception. Nuclear power is often associated with the potential for catastrophic accidents, and public perception plays a crucial role in its acceptance. Negative public opinion can hinder the development and expansion of nuclear energy programs. Despite these risks, it's important to note that modern nuclear power plants incorporate advanced safety features and are designed to minimize the likelihood of accidents. Ongoing research and development aim to address some of the concerns associated with nuclear power and make it a safer and more sustainable energy option. What are chances of mishappening by nuclear plant? The chances of a mishap or accident at a nuclear power plant are generally considered low, thanks to stringent safety measures, regulations, and technological advancements. However, it's crucial to recognize that the consequences of a mishap can be severe, even if the likelihood is low. Several factors contribute to the overall safety of nuclear power plants. 1. Stringent regulations. Nuclear power plants are subject to strict regulations and safety standards imposed by national and international authorities. These regulations govern the design, construction, operation, and decommissioning of nuclear facilities. 2. Advanced technology. Modern nuclear power plants incorporate advanced technologies and safety features to prevent accidents and mitigate their consequences. Improved reactor designs, automated safety systems, and redundant safety measures contribute to overall plant safety. 3. Operator training. Operators of nuclear power plants undergo extensive training to respond to various scenarios, including emergencies. Simulations and drills are conducted regularly to ensure that plant personnel are well prepared to handle unexpected situations. 4. Emergency preparedness. Nuclear power plants have comprehensive emergency response plans in place. These plans outline procedures for managing different types of incidents, including natural disasters, equipment malfunctions, and other emergencies. 5. Safety culture. A strong safety culture within the nuclear industry is crucial. This includes a commitment to safety at all levels of the organization, effective communication, and a willingness to learn from past incidents to continuously improve safety practices. 6. Site selection. The location of nuclear power plants takes into account factors such as seismic activity, flooding, and other potential hazards. 
Site selection is a critical aspect of minimizing the risk of accidents. 7. Independent oversight. Regulatory bodies and independent organizations play a vital role in overseeing the operation of nuclear power plants. Regular inspections, audits, and assessments are conducted to ensure compliance with safety standards. Despite these measures, accidents can still occur due to unforeseen circumstances, natural disasters, or human errors. The consequences of a nuclear accident can vary, ranging from minor incidents with minimal impact to major accidents with severe consequences, as seen in the history of nuclear power. It's important to note that the nuclear industry continually works to enhance safety through research, technological innovation, and the implementation of lessons learned from past incidents. Public awareness, engagement, and transparent communication about nuclear safety contribute to maintaining public confidence in the industry. If accident happens in nuclear plant, what are consequences? The consequences of a nuclear plant accident can vary depending on the severity of the incident, the specific circumstances, and the effectiveness of emergency response measures. In general, nuclear accidents can have a range of consequences, including 1. Radioactive releases. The most immediate concern is the potential release of radioactive materials into the environment. This can occur through the release of radioactive gases, liquids, or particles. The extent and nature of the releases depend on factors such as the type of accident, the design of the plant, and the effectiveness of containment measures. 2. Health impacts. Exposure to ionizing radiation can have adverse health effects, including an increased risk of cancer, radiation sickness, and long-term genetic effects. The severity of health impacts depends on the level and duration of exposure, as well as the type of radiation emitted. 3. Evacuations and displacement. In the event of a serious nuclear accident, authorities may implement evacuation measures to protect the public from potential exposure to radiation. This can lead to the displacement of communities with significant social and economic consequences. 4. Environmental contamination. Radioactive releases can contaminate air, water, and soil in the vicinity of the nuclear plant. This contamination may persist for an extended period, affecting ecosystems and agriculture. Long-lived radioactive isotopes can pose environmental risks for many years. 5. Economic impact. Nuclear accidents can have substantial economic consequences. The costs associated with cleanup, decontamination, compensation for affected individuals, and the decommissioning of the facility can be significant. The affected region may also suffer from a decline in property values and economic activity. 6. Loss of infrastructure. In the case of a severe accident, the physical infrastructure of the nuclear plant may be damaged or destroyed. This can lead to a loss of power generation capacity and the need for extensive reconstruction. 7. Social and psychological effects, beyond the immediate physical impacts. Nuclear accidents can have profound social and psychological effects on affected communities. Fear, anxiety, and distrust may persist, even after the immediate threat has been addressed. 8. Long-term environmental consequences. Some radioactive isotopes released during a nuclear accident may have long half-lives, leading to persistent environmental contamination. This can impact ecosystems and human activities in the affected area for many years. It's important to note that the severity of consequences depends on various factors, including the specific characteristics of the nuclear plant, the effectiveness of emergency response measures, and the geographical and demographic context of the affected region. Lessons learned from past accidents, such as Chernobyl and Fukushima, have led to improvements in nuclear safety practices and emergency preparedness to mitigate the potential consequences of future incidents. How much area near plant is affected in case of accident? The extent of the area affected by a nuclear plant accident depends on several factors, including the severity of the incident, the type of radioactive releases, meteorological conditions and the effectiveness of emergency response measures. The affected area can be broadly categorized into three zones. 1. Immediate impact zone, hot zone. This is the area closest to the nuclear plant where the immediate effects of the accident are felt. In this zone, 
there may be a risk of exposure to high levels of radiation. And immediate evacuation is typically necessary. The size of this zone depends on the severity of the accident and the specific characteristics of the release. 2. Intermediate Impact Zone, Warm Zone This zone extends beyond the immediate impact zone and is characterized by lower levels of radiation. Evacuation and sheltering measures may still be implemented to protect the public. The size of this zone is influenced by factors such as wind direction, topography, and the type of radioactive materials released. 3. Extended Impact Zone, Cold Zone This zone represents the broader area affected by the accident, where lower levels of radiation may still be detected. Monitoring and precautionary measures, such as restrictions on food and water consumption, may be implemented. The of this zone can vary widely and is influenced by factors such as weather conditions and the effectiveness of containment measures. The specific size and boundaries of these zones can vary based on the characteristics of the accident and the response strategies employed by authorities. It's important to note that the consequences of a nuclear accident are not limited to geographical boundaries. As the long-term environmental and health impacts can extend beyond the immediate affected area. The International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, and national regulatory authorities work together to establish guidelines for emergency planning and response, including the determination of evacuation zones and protective actions. These guidelines take into account factors such as the type of reactor, the release characteristics, and the potential pathways for the spread of radioactive materials. Public safety and minimizing exposure to radiation are the primary considerations in defining the affected areas and implementing emergency measures. Considering this is it advisable to make nuclear plant near heavily populated area? The decision to build a nuclear power plant near a heavily populated area involves careful consideration of various factors, including safety, public health, environmental impact, and energy needs. While nuclear power can provide a significant source of low-carbon energy, the potential risks associated with accidents and the consequences for nearby populations warrant thorough evaluation. Here are some key considerations. 1. Safety measures and regulations. Modern nuclear power plants are designed with advanced safety features and are subject to stringent regulations. Before approving the construction of a nuclear plant, regulatory authorities assess the plant's design, safety systems, and emergency preparedness. Compliance with safety standards and the implementation of robust safety measures are crucial to minimize risks. 2. Emergency preparedness and evacuation plans. Proximity to a heavily populated area requires thorough emergency preparedness and evacuation plans. The ability to promptly and effectively respond to any incident is critical in ensuring the safety of the nearby population. Public awareness, education, and communication about emergency procedures are essential components of a comprehensive safety strategy. 3. Site selection. The selection of an appropriate site for a nuclear power plant is crucial. Factors such as geological stability, vulnerability to natural disasters, e.g., earthquakes, floods, and the potential impact on local ecosystems should be carefully assessed. A well-chosen site can help minimize risks and enhance the overall safety of the facility. 4. Public perception and acceptance. Public perception of nuclear power plays a significant role in the decision-making process. Open communication, transparency, and community engagement are essential to address concerns and build trust. In some cases, communities may express strong opposition to having a nuclear plant in close proximity which can influence the decision-making process. 5. Alternative energy sources. Consideration should be given to alternative energy sources that may have fewer perceived risks. Advancements in renewable energy technologies, such as solar and wind power, provide viable alternatives to meet energy needs without the potential drawbacks associated with nuclear power. 6. Energy infrastructure planning. Decisions about energy infrastructure should be part of a broader energy strategy that considers the mix of energy sources, grid reliability, and the overall sustainability of the energy system. Ultimately, the decision to build a nuclear power plant near a heavily populated area should involve a comprehensive risk assessment.
thorough public engagement, and adherence to rigorous safety standards. Each case requires careful evaluation based on the specific circumstances.